It's after 10 p.m. and Senior Constable Ash Bowden is on to an unusual job. Just up in Karam Downs, we're looking for a car that was doing burnouts and then another call's come through saying that um, a similar looking car or very similar description has crashed. So we're just trying to get to it as quick as we can to see what the hell's going on. Witnesses to the incident have given the location as this shopping mall car park. Ash soon spots what he's looking for. What happened, mate? Pardon? What's going on? I'm just waiting for a mate. Is that why your car's all smashed up and you're up on the grass at the moment, or what? Yeah. He's yeah. waiting for a mate. He's gone in, in there. Why? I'm just wondering how, 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 how the collision with your car happened, mate. What collision? Well, the one that's got your, all your wheels and stuff twisted up and your, your, your front bumper bar's hanging off, mate. Well, I'm just waiting for a mate, as I said. Who's your mate? Hey? Who's your mate? James. Yeah? Isn't it? James who? Huh? How'd you get down here? How'd you get down here? Does it matter? Yeah, it kind of does, mate, because you've just been involved in an accident. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Have I? Yeah. What kind of accident? One with a curb, mate, and your old car's what, smashed up. One with a curb. Can I see your licence, please? No. No? No. No? Been drinking tonight? No. Well, I can smell it on you. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm not driving. Yeah? Yeah? Well, I'm not driving. That's fine, mate. Your car's been involved in an accident. I believe you were, <coughs> you were an occupant of the car. Oh, I haven't even... All right, so what I'll get you to do, because because of the fact you don't want to show me your license, get you to stand out of the car for me, please. Senior Constable Ash Bowden has found a young man in a damaged car. It's run onto a garden in a car park, but the driver reckons it's nothing out of the ordinary. Hop out of the car now. Out of the car now. Yeah, or get your licence out. Make a decision. Well, I don't have a licence. I'm sitting here because I'm waiting for a mate and I don't yeah. understand why there's six people standing around me. Because we're working, mate, and you've had a car crash. No, I haven't. You're drunk. Am I? Yeah, you are, mate. I can smell it all over you. So hop out of the car. I'm not, no, easy. Come on. I'm not drunk. If you don't want to tell me who you are or produce a licence, mate, you can come over this way to the police car. The motorist continues to deny any association with alcohol, but the evidence is everywhere. Over this way, mate. No, over don't the police go car. pushing me around. Or come over this way, like I said, to the police car. Okay? I have nothing on me, as I said before. Well, come up this way. I want you to stand in front of the police car for me. Don't go pushing me around. Just stand there, mate. I'm not being argumentative with you. I'm not being argumentative right. with you. I'm just asking you to said, do a few things. I have nothing on me. Right. Who okay. owns the car? I don't know. Well, what's your name? Let's start with that. James. What's your last name, James? But Ash knows he's now being lied to because the driver has already told him James is the name of his alleged friend. What's your last name, James? A suspected drunk driver has been lying to Senior Constable Ash Bowden, but finally comes clean. What's your last name? My name's... Look at your car, mate. You've had an accident. It's no, blatantly obvious. I pulled it back because there was, like... 20 people around there before. So you drove the car no, backwards, did you? Walking. Focus on me, Clint. You're under arrest, mate. Turn around. What for? Because I'm not happy with who you are. Put your hands behind your back. And I'll sit down here in the back of the police car where you can have a think. I told you who I was. And I'll start working out who you are. Do you hold a Victorian driver's license? No, I don't. I was it probably 12 months ago. For what? Drink driving. Okay, so. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be driving at the moment? I'll be over in the other seat very shortly. The driver continues to protest his innocence, but once he's settled down, Ash removes the handcuffs and conducts a breath test. I'll do this for you. Just con yeah, that'd, that'd be great. Just one long breath you until sure? I say stop. Yep. Okay. I trust you. Yeah. You hear that one? Yeah, it's working. All right, Clint. 
Yeah. Still doesn't mean I was driving. In my opinion, due to the fact that I can obviously smell alcohol on you. Yes. You've been driving the vehicle, you've been involved in the collision. I've driven the vehicle. Okay, I now request you to accompany me to a police station for the purpose of a breath I've test. I've not driven the vehicle. Now listen, you've got to listen to me, okay? It's very important, all right? Now request you to accompany me to a police station for an evidential breath test, okay? Where you must remain there until you're given a certificate of analysis mm -hmm. or up to three hours, whichever's quicker. Like I'll do that. Yeah, okay, you happy not to do that? All right. all right. I have not driven the vehicle. As we rolled up a collision scene with this vehicle, a fair few witnesses were already watching him. We've spoken to those witnesses and they've uh, re reconfirmed as of the fact that it was him driving and we are happy with that. And now he's obviously blown into the breath testing instrument and uh, we're taking him back for a further breath test at the uh, station. If only it was that simple. Uh, you the sure young man is still not me, finished. Just look at me and just concentrate on me, mate. It's I'm quite, not sure that you're it's quite a, serious. a federal officer of the law. I'm not a federal officer. I'm I'm, well, I'll, I'll move on then. I'm a Victorian police officer, mate. No, well, that's not okay? good enough. Let's not go around are in circles. Are you not a federal officer of the law? Let's not go around in circles. Are you a federal officer of the law? Do you want to come are back? You? No, I asked you Clinton, a Clinton, shut up and listen to me. It's no. quite serious. No. Now, well, I've answered your question. I've asked you Do a you question. want to come back to the police station? Not really, no. Because Ash knows who the driver is, he's no longer under arrest and may refuse to go back to the station. If you want to go by your own free will, that would be fantastic. Well, you're driving whilst disqualified, mate. I've not driven anywhere. Well, that's something we can work out at court. I haven't, I haven't gone anywhere. I need you to make a definitive decision. Definitive? Can you define that? Definitive. Yeah. What Make one simple decision, mate, and be clear what about it and stick with it. Then? No, it's about what you want to do. Let's go. You happy to go now? I'll go. You're not going to change your mind? Do you want me to go there for a breath test? I'll go. The driver's official breath test result back at the station comes as no surprise to Ash. He blew 0 0.181, which is four times over the legal limit. He was also disqualified from driving, so he's going to receive a summons for the drink driving, driving whilst disqualified, where he'll have to go and explain himself to the magistrate. It just goes to show that not only does alcohol affect your ability to drive, but it also affects your ability to tell the truth.